The handy calculations pages are obviously made for calculating. They are also providing features that support the user to understand what the calculation does, how to fill in the input cells, and so on. The purpose of this video is to detail the different support features of a handy calculations page. Let's go to a random page using the handy calculations button. I click on geometrical optics and on the aberration topic. I am redirected to a page by default related to the aberration of a plane parallel plate. You can remark that the field of photonics that has been chosen, that is to say geometrical optics, is now highlighted in the general handy calculations menu by being filled in blue. On the top of the page, the path up to the calculation is displayed in a gray block. It contains first the topic slash the subtopic slash the title of the page. The page includes one or two calculation tables and at least three buttons for processing the calculation. The different calculation pages formats and the calculation processing are not part of this presentation. They are detailed in other videos. In this example, the page contains two tables, one for the input and the other for the output. In most cases, on the top left of the page, an explanation scheme is displayed that is possible to enlarge by clicking on it. It illustrates the calculation and gives information on the related parameters. Below the scheme, if any, there is a list of calculations corresponding to the chosen topic, which is here aberration. This allows the user to quickly switch to another calculation of interest related to the same topic. Note that the title of the displayed page is highlighted by appearing in dark blue. Below the path, there are five beige buttons. The first four buttons are tooltips that are displayed when the user hover the mouse over them. Indeed, about explains what the calculation is about. It resumes what are the parameters that are calculated as well as the input parameters. Caution gives recommendations on how to fill the input cells and some limitations related to the input parameters. Note that in the present calculation, the refraction index of the plate is an input. It can be a reference of a glass catalog instead of a number. Obviously, this feature is mentioned in the tooltip, but it is specifically detailed in the video entitled Using Glass Catalogs. Parameters gives a short description of all parameters used in the calculation. The description of a parameter is not only displayed in the parameters tooltip, but also when the user hover the mouse over its label in the corresponding calculation table like I am doing now. Glossary gives the definition of some specific words used in the page or relevant to the calculation. Note that each tooltip can be also displayed in a separated page when clicking on the corresponding button. This can be practical if the tooltip cannot be completely displayed on the screen because it's too long. Finally, the tutorial button links to a separated page, which is a tutorial related to the present calculation. Here, the tutorial is obviously about the ray shift induced by a plane parallel plate, as you see. Thank you for your attention.